Creating links with Hook to different resources on your machine is great. However, hooking files to each other is when you start to really get the benefits from this application. We all have those periods where we can get frustrated with trying to physically find documents, or when our search tool like Spotlight doesn't want to play ball. Maybe because we're not using the right search criteria or giving our machine the right information it needs. Hook will link files that you choose together, meaning that you never need to search for them again. You can open a file directly from another file whenever you like. Now here I am in Safari on the Hook website, and in this example, this is a site that I'm going to come back to often. I don't really want to have to search for it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Hook. I'll bring up my title menu and select copy link. That's put the link now to this web page on my clipboard. I'll switch across to my task manager. And here I have a task to research some materials for Hook to improve my knowledge. Now I could go into the notes of this task, paste that link that I just copied. So this is now a marker for that web page and I can click and I can open it, which is fine. Here I am on the Hook site. But this link is one way. So it goes from my task manager to the web page. Wouldn't it be great if there was a link that was two way or bi-directional so that I can always jump between the two no matter which application I'm in? Now that's what a hook link does. It creates that two way link. So let's create one now. I've already got this web page on my clipboard so I don't need to copy it again. So what I'll do is I'll switch across now to my task manager. I'm gonna highlight the task that I would like to hook the web page to and bring up hook. We can see here clearly the task name that's been selected and ready to have an action carried out. I'm gonna click the drop down or press Control T and I'm gonna select hook to copied link. I could also have just pasted directly with Command V, you can see there. And there, that's done. But how do we know it's done? It's all very quiet. Well now, when I bring up Hook on this task, I can see that there's a resource hooked to it, namely that web page. Now I can rename it to give it a more common name if I wish, but I won't. I'm going to press Enter. And of course, I'm taken to that web page. However, now, when I bring up Hook, I can see the hook task. And if I press enter, it takes me straight back. Now when you're running a project or even in your day-to-day -day working life, hook can save you so much time by allowing you to hook all of your project documentation together, maybe meeting minutes and agendas, design documents can be paired up with customer acceptance forms. Whichever profession that you are in, there is time that you can save with hook and using hook links.